Are you working? There you go. Hey, you down here. I can <coughs> hardly see that light, that record light coming on. <coughs> okay. <coughs> well, I just got through figuring out what was wrong with the switch on this Lenovo. <coughs> and uh, so I want to uh, brought it in. <coughs> Put this back off of it again. So that I can take that cover off. Got it all cleaned up, blew it out, uh, vacuumed it out. I thought I might blow it out, but I thought, you know what, I don't want to. It wasn't really very dirty. It's the cleanest uh, used computer I've ever got a hold of. And uh, so, it need, I, you know, it had some dust here and there. I vacuumed it out with that, that shop vac. It, they do pretty good, but uh, as much dust gets in, in, in all the the fins of the of the uh, especially the one on the CPU the processor uh, most of the time you can't even with a 120 pounds of pressure 125 is what I'm running on my compressor now well I only had like 90 on my old one but with the old one with 90 pounds uh, it usually it, a lot of times it wouldn't get all the dust out you could blow and blow and blow on it unless you took the fan off and really you just need to take the whole thing off clean it real good and then put it back because it if it's that dirty, it's probably uh, ruined the this, the uh, heat sink paste. It's probably already gotten too uh, hot. It gets too hot for too long, it dries out, and it doesn't work. It gets where it won't work at all. Especially happens a lot on laptops. I'm looking at the RAM, make sure it's in place. See if I knocked anything loose with the vacuum. That's the other thing. You're really uh, more likely to knock something loose or even break something with the vacuum hose. Especially that big old heavy one that I have. Than you are with the air gun. Well, the air gun, well, I know the fans will spin fast enough to... If you've ever noticed the fans, when you spin them, the ones that have LED lights, they'll light the lights up. So those, uh, <laughs> it makes me laugh because those uh, videos on YouTube about... Oh, they'll show this fan the half time they don't tell you it's just a little computer fan and they'll say, free energy, you know, and all that crap. Yeah, if you got an air compressor to spin it fast enough, and then how much does it cost to run an air compressor? Okay, so I'm going to take the uh, front cover off too. It comes off real easy. And uh, I could. I was just kind of wondering, it's a Lenovo. Oh, it had Windows 7 on it. It says Pentium on there, but that could be a Celeron, too. No, no, Celerons are not Pentiums. <laughs> Oof. So, uh, yeah, well, that's good. But, so it's probably, it could be a dual core, but it's probably a quad core, I'm hoping. <laughs> and I can't see this writing on the RAM. It'd be easier to, if, if I can get it to boot up, I'll just look. If the operating system's messed up, I'll just put my Fedora USB stick. But I'm just gonna. There's a a uh, micro switch on there with a circuit board. I've never seen one like that. Now, all computers, uh, all computers that people usually give me, which this one was giving to me too, because the button was broke, but it wouldn't start up. But uh, they they have hardware switches, you know. Just, they're. Uh, they're pretty, well, they're pretty easy to replace. They can be a pain sometimes. I'm going to put my, can't let, I can't show, it's this camera angle I can't really show. I guess if I turn it back like, no, it still won't help. I need to see what I'm doing. So, yeah, go crazy. Why not? Okay, where's my, I've got plenty of light on that side of the room, but not on this side. Okay. So again, my, uh, this is my long USB cable going to my server, my HP DL380G7, that, and I have it plugged into my KVM switch normally uh, to be able to use the mouse and keyboard. I don't use the VGA. I use I've got an eight gigabyte video card in it. And I use uh, not, I use the uh, gotta make sure you get on the right direction. I use the um, Oh, it has an HDMI. I don't want to use it, but uh, as long as this works good, good. I was looking at. I've got one one G, uh, 
VGA cable that has been the pins have been bent so many times from doing you know doing what I'm doing right now and, and not looking and paying it not looking close enough and messing up that uh, that he's got two or three broken pins and it you get purple purple video no matter what with it but uh, but that's not the one it doesn't have a single broken pin so cable that I've found already plugged in just barely reaches there we go well it didn't come on all by itself anyway there we go okay but the pin uh the uh I, I was looking at that broken switch let's just see if it'll come on first let's see do I have that monitor on it's going to be this other monitor you won't, can't see it unless I rename Guess I'll do that here in a minute. Let me do it now. Uh, <clears throat> you're not going to be able to see the whole thing. I wasn't thinking about that. I'm not going to be able to see the whole thing. Uh, I'm in the middle. I mean, the reason I went ahead and decided to roll it over my mic cable uh, to bring this in is because I bought me a. Let me turn it on where it'll show up. I bought me a. Uh, 4K TV, 40, 43 inch. I think its actual size is like 43 inches, you know, diagonal size. Uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, I've got it set and partially on the keyboard tray of my rack and partially on my desk. That's the only place I could set it just to test it and everything. What I'm planning on doing is I have another computer that's already back there. This one's only about well it's with it I'll, I'll put some put some wood on it to make it tall enough you know some pieces of wood three quarters or half inch or whatever i need uh, but i don't want to put it in there unless it works because i can just put it in there leave it there behind see the little black behind over here behind this monitor that's the one i'm getting ready to what do i want to see about like that i guess well actually you're not going to be able, I'm not going to be able to show what's actually on the screen, if there's anything, but I can show whether there's something at all on it. I'm going to turn this one off because it kind of takes over the camera. Actually, the camera can't do too well with aiming at a monitor, I noticed. I guess I didn't hit the button right. Hit the, there we go. Probably pointed it wrong direction or something. Okay, let's see. So I've got mouse and keyboard and video. So it should, if the, if it'll turn on. No. Not so simple, huh? So that micro switch must be bad. I was thinking, I noticed that the... Uh, the Power P O W switch power switch H D D yeah instead of just a regular switch huh. you know it could be something else it might be the yeah this might be the uh, Power supply, let's make sure it's not switched to 220 volt or something like that. Let's unplug it. Kind of check those kind of things over. But yeah, normally it's just a switch, and if the switch is bad, you just replace the switch, and the button's just something for you to press on, you know. You turn it on and off. It's got tape over the little switch. It says 115, so it's in the right place, looks like. Yeah, okay. You can still kind of move it with this. Somebody must have taped it to make sure somebody didn't screw that up. Seems to be anything wrong with the... 
I'm assuming that I grabbed it. Well, there's, yeah, there shouldn't be anything wrong with that cable, but now I'm thinking, well, I don't normally use that one. I didn't even, I just thought, well, what do I have that's easy to get to? And uh, I saw it. I used to go over here and get one. See if I can sneak back there behind the <clears throat> sneak over here right in that area see if I can uh... there's one that I there was one that I used always grabbed for that this sort of thing that I kept back there for that for, for working on computers and stuff but uh... It was hard to get to, so I didn't. I, I saw that one and I grabbed it. I kind of thought I had took it out when I got my server. I don't, let's see, you know, I don't have anything easy to plug this one into to make sure that it's. <sighs> where am I aiming? Well, I am aiming here. There's so much stuff on that screen, I can't hardly see where it's aiming. Uh, there's, I think I could already see how I could probably uh, jump the switch, you know. If the switch if the switch is bad, but first I want to know that I've got power and that the power supply is not bad. If it's just completely gone, it doesn't smell bad or look like anything shorted out on it. But uh, I can pull this one here off of the. I'm trying to think what I don't have anything with the with this kind of you know computers. You can't just plug anything into it. It's got to be the right kind of receptacle. Yeah, so I don't really have a... Well, got a multimeter. Let's just test it on the multimeter. And if it's working right... I think I, yeah, I think my multimeter can go in there and test it. So we'll do that first before we... I was thinking about getting it out anyway. Uh, maybe... What I'm thinking is, I could like try doing a, a continuity test. Let me figure out where's the. Oh, yeah, okay, here we go. You don't need to really see all back there unless you're going back there. That monitor's still in the picture. Okay. And you'll even have me in the picture. Bonus. Well, guess what? I was setting what I moved to get back up in there. A multimeter. I've got all this stuff with no place to go. It's beginning to drive me crazy. Cable. Cable, I think. Audio cable, I tried to use it. Yeah, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, yeah, it was yesterday when I set the TV up uh, to test it. Anyway, I'm thinking how much video. Oh, okay, I'm on battery. Oh, I can see that now. No, that's this. Oh, okay. The battery's not green, you know, like like your phones and stuff. It's all white and. White usually means bad, but it, it went down one bar since I did a video outside and one in here. What I've done so far in here. I was afraid I'd only get 10, 15 minutes. I guess I'll get a couple of times I ran it all the way down and it was 20 minutes. So I don't know how long the first video was. I can't see really the letters. And I can't really read any of that, even with my glasses. These are magnifying safety glasses I got on. 
that's why I'm wearing them uh, mostly uh, and, and they don't fall off and, and if anything comes at me you know they're going to protect me my reading glasses they're they're just magnifying glasses too but they're uh, They're definitely not safety glasses. They're, pla they're, they're plastic lenses. I used to think glass lenses were better, but actually, see, so yeah, I can take these. Oh, I've got a light-up one that's safer for doing things, I think. Will it go in there? No, they won't go in there. I've already remembered that. These will go in there, I think, if I... You can make them longer by taking these caps off the end. They're hard to get off, and these are pointy as heck. got to be careful. They'll hurt you. Yeah, I got it on 110 volt. <clears throat> yeah, 120 volts. Okay. Now what I was thinking of doing was continuity. Yeah. Do continuity test. And I think I see where I think if I use a continuity tester, it'll be just like a jumper wire. I think I don't usually try doing that, but I see uh, it's only you know, this is only going to be uh, the switch voltage is I don't know, it's anywhere from three and a half to five. I'm sure it's not 12 volts. Well, it could be not sure. now that I think about it. I don't know what happened. Oh, it moved it and the lighting looked... All I want to do is hear it beep. You can look at it if you want. If you can see it. Yeah. I don't think you'll be able to see it anyway, but... Okay. Yeah, this is... It's got... One, two, three, four, five, six wires. It's got the HD... HD uh, indicator LED there. It's got... Power LED. Oh, that wouldn't be where I would jump it then. Power switch. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, plus. Yeah, I'm not sure. What I'm thinking, though. Let's see. Can I do that? I need another hand to hold this about right there. I don't want to... Uh, stick these giant things in here and short things out. But there's two, looks like, test leads leading to that LED. That's why I thought maybe that would be the perfect point to short. Or jumper. I prefer to say jump because shorting is, people say that all the time. And uh, when you short something, that's when you get the magic smoke. Why do you get that? Because you connect positive to negative. I don't care if it's AC or DC, you're getting hot to cold power to ground and when you jump a wire when it's on the same a switch is just an open in a circuit when you put a jumper across it to, to em, emulate simulate a switch that's a jumper that's jumping the wire that is not shorting it and all these people that are supposed to know 10 times more than I do about electronics and electricity with degrees most of them say that they say short it now maybe if I went to school I'd find out that why they say that. But it is not the same thing. But they use it, they use short, and they never say you jump it. That's how I was taught growing up in the olden days, the 60s and 70s. Y'all think that's the olden days now, don't you? Unless you're older than me. Okay, so... And I didn't have a digital multimeter until I had my Radio Shack analog until I got to where I couldn't see it. And I still didn't have one until just a few years ago I finally got this one. Now what I'm doing is jumping it. I've done this before. Now that's a circuit. That tells me I got a I got a circuit now. I don't know which direction, either back around. It's probably through this uh, LED. Tells me my LED is good. I believe is what it would be telling me. 
Let's see. I thought it might actually make the light, the little light come on. But uh, it, it does when you do it with a test light. Maybe that's what I would do it with. You can use a test light as a jumper, and you'll get two things. You'll get the light indicating that you got power, telling you for sure whether or not you got power, and you'll also make the circuit complete. That one's not doing that. Still got my beep, beeper. Hmm. Since that other one did that, that makes me wonder why well, that one don't do that. At least he's not burned out. Let's see, okay. This on my switch, my power switch, it's got it has one, two, I can't see with that one. I can see wider area, but it's not as magnified as that other one. This other one's much harder for me to get focused for me to see with. Yeah, I don't know for sure. I really don't know if I've ever done what I'm trying to do with a multimeter. I don't know if it... You'd think it would, because all it does is... It, you put it in uh, as a jumper, say, in a, in a, in a, connect, in a circuit... And it becomes part of the circuit, and it measures the impedance, the resistance. Not the impedance, the resistance. It's not a speaker. Anyway, uh, it's got one. Yeah, one, two, three. I, I, some of them look like maybe they weren't soldered, or there may not be pads there, but there is. There's one, two, three solder pads on one side and two on the other. And uh, but you don't want to jump hot to if you do that with a, with a if you if you cross hot and, and ground with your with your uh, resistance you know with your oh uh, I keep oh meter yeah oh uh, then uh, you will uh, you, if it's a like if it's a big high high amperage AC circuit it'll blow your melting meter up and liable to hurt you with this it would just be uh, usually, I, yeah, there's not usually, there's some computers, especially maybe the newer ones, might actually have a couple of two and a half volt. This is just a, a switch, you know, it's not the full, probably not the full power. Well, yellow, yellow, green, white, black, yellow is, tw 12 volts is coming up there, then. If, if, well, that doesn't. There's no saying it on the, you know, computers, yellow is 12 volts, red is 5 volts, uh, the green, and the green and purple, black is usually always ground, is always ground, white, green, they can be whatever they kind of feel in the mood to make them, blue, let's see, so, I would, I mean, not knowing if there's something wrong with this, power supply or something it's already been reset because it's been un you know I, I don't know how long Jeff had it unplugged and I've had it unplugged for a month or two in my garage so you know if the power supply kind of got in a bad way and it needed to be unplugged and, and left unplugged for a while to reset it then it would have been done looking at some of this stuff see if it has any clues on it uh -uh. There's where the numbers are. Still recording. I think my bat battery's still where it was. Okay. This is it's not a model number. All kinds of numbers, but not a model number. It's in there somewhere. Oh, it says it has 4 gig of RAM, 500 gig hard drive. If all this is, oh, it's a Lenovo H410, Lenovo H410. Okay, 500 gigabyte hard drive, 4 gigabyte of RAM, uh, DVD RW, 